Hello, I'm Michael O'Donnell, a 2011 graduate of Western New England University in Springfield, Massachusetts. I received my degree in communication because I wanted to show potential employers how much professionalism and dedication I can bring to any organization that deals with media, news, and advertising. While growing up in Derry, New Hampshire, I developed a keen interest in seeing how news and sports broadcasts were covered. While my personal goal may be to eventually sit in front of the camera, I have in the meantime amassed much hands-on experience of the equipment used in the industry, the right knowledgeable skills, and the necessary training to produce a newscast that will shine above the rest of the competition. The following segment you are about to see covers my work throughout the past few years both at Western New England and Castleton State College in Vermont. I hope you enjoy seeing the different variations of my work and the expertise that I can offer to your company. And I'm Michael O'Donnell, here are today's top stories. A man went to the emergency room after reporting that he had been shot in the chest in Rutland on November 19th. Damian Powell of Brooklyn, New York is 19 years old and it is rumored that the shooting may have been drug related. The police would not comment if the two issues were related. <clears throat> Ten people were taken into custody, ranging in age between 16 and 44 years old, after being arrested for drug use of crack cocaine. Seven of the suspects were from Brooklyn, New York, and only three were from Rutland. The police believe that the shooting was not random. An estimated $14 billion was spent on presents in the U.S. during the holiday weekend. That's a 7% increase from last year. Researchers believe that this year's Black Friday showing would be smaller than normal due to increased housing prices, troubles with the American dollar, and the fact that there was no big new technology product. Some of the major companies that surpassed expectations were Circuit City, JCPenney, KB Toys, Apple, and El Posto. The biggest things spent on so far this Christmas season include digital cameras, the Nintendo Wii, the global positioning system, and of course, jewelry. Hello, I'm Michael O'Donnell. Welcome to this Western New England College News Update. Senator-elect Scott Brown was warmly greeted by the people of Western Massachusetts last Friday. Mr. Brown visited the Hookie Wow in Chicopee, where over 100 people were in attendance. Brown told his supporters that he has a huge job ahead of him down in Washington, but that he's up to the challenge of tackling the major issues that lie ahead. The 2 b senator then shook hands with nearly everyone at the restaurant. Brown is currently on a thank you tour across the Bay State after defeating Democrat Martha Coakley in the special election. He is scheduled to take office February 11th. President Obama last week awarded $8 billion in federal stimulus funds in the hopes of providing better rail service across the nation. The two largest projects will be new rail lines from San Francisco to San Diego, California, as well as service from Orlando to Tampa, Florida. The funding will also improve service locally. The Springfield, Massachusetts to New Haven, Connecticut line will receive much needed upgrades. State officials hope that the improvements will help alleviate traffic on Interstate 91 and will provide an alternative route for many tourists and commuters. President Obama recently delivered his annual State of the Union address to Congress. The President touched on many issues facing Americans, including jobs, education, and health care. We asked Professor William Mandel for his comments on the President's overall performance. Well, I think the American voters are looking for results right now. Uh, they're looking for leadership and results. And I don't think that means that they're against health care reform. I just think they don't like the fact that the government seems to be dithering around and taking its time doing something. They want to explain to them, they want to explain how it's going to benefit them, and they want to see something done. The same thing is true about jobs. They want to see not just the slowing up of job loss, but they want to see job creation. What it means to be human is based on how we communicate with each other. At Castleton State College, you can get right to the heart of how we communicate and prepare yourself for exciting opportunities in video, radio, journalism, and the internet. Now I really know where I'm going. Communication at Castleton, the wave of the future. When one hears the crack of a bat, it means that baseball season is back. But while kids are having fun catching fastballs and hitting them with their strong metal bats, many are unaware of the dangers and serious injuries that can lie ahead. But Master Alexis's concern is just, while well, being the father of a player who is currently playing Little League, and as a Major League Baseball agent for the past 18 years, he has seen injuries firsthand and knows how potentially dangerous every pitch can be. I, I think that aluminum bats are um, dangerous. I think that, um, you know, I have an 11-year-old boy who's a pitcher in Little League, um, and I've really thought about the possibility of him, him being struck with a batted ball. Um, 
that's a danger. Asperger's is like a stepbrother to autism. Although it is not the same disorder, they share many of the same traits and characteristics. Asperger's tends to affect one's social surroundings. It is difficult to make friends, keep a normal conversation going without switching the subject, and even burning out something completely random. So what exactly makes me different? Is it the fact that I can name all 44 presidents of the United States backwards? Is it the fact that I can name former sports players and their statistics right off the top of my head? Or is it the notion that I have to deal with all the ridicule and pressure of being a picky eater and having high sensitivity issues? To be honest with you, I don't, I don't see uh, any reason why drink, the drinking age um, shouldn't be 18 years old because of um, all the other factors. And when you start talking about uh, somebody can go to uh, uh, fight for this country and, and that's the age they have to be, well, you know what, to me that's, that, that is something that takes uh, much more importance than, than uh, whether we're going to deal with somebody that's 18 years old and drinking. It's happening. We're dealing with that today. People are 18 years old and drinking. A real nice collegiate uh, setting here that on a Saturday afternoon there's, some, there's a lot of things happening and, and it provides a lot for school spirit. And I think our, our, uh, our student population can come out and they can catch multiple teams play in a couple hour period. We get a lot of practice time in because of the number of courts that we have and the good quality courts that we have. I think these courts have uh, definitely helped in, in our sense of pride. Uh, we're very proud as an athletic family and as a tennis family overall and when we bring other institutions onto our courts and, and are able to display the quality. Well the field is brand new and I love the atmosphere around here. It's easier. We actually have a hill now in the back. Um, the idea of the new field has actually given the softball team motivation. So we have actually two batting cages um, in the future. Um, I know it's new and innovative, so um, updating. I can't wait to see how it's going to be in the future years. do or what can Nancy Pelosi do to try to move some of the Republicans to her side and with doing this uh, is Bush losing support from everybody because it seems like every single day people are leaving his administration. That's true Michael. Um, when I think about it I think gosh this man really needs to do something to uh, to give everybody a good feeling to show that he has a heart and and also to make the uh, country realize that he can focus on something other than the war. And so we love it, and he comes a breakaway, the breakaway shot, shot by number 20 Foley as he, he scores. scores. He scores to jump on board early in this game here, folks. The first period, 18 minutes left. Two minutes into the game, he scores the first goal on a breakaway as he beats Seals to the five hole. Nice breakaway there, as again, breaking it into the five hole by Foley there. The St. Anselm's just a terrific shot there. He yeah, got, he got hit hard. Oh, that was a cool hit. Romeo packs a big punch for his hit, so. Uh, Romeo is strong. Yeah, he's, he's fast, he's strong, and he does have a very powerful shot. And with those powerful shots, can sometimes lead to goals. And so far, he's leading the team right now at three points so far in two games with a goal and an assist. Get Barry back into this game, get the momentum shift to their sides. Oh, oh they the do. Castleton scores right on the power play. Eight seconds into the power play, and Castleton scores on a redirect. Jeff yes, Alexander made this goal. On a bad, bad block by the goaltender, allowed the rebound to come out. Jeff Alexander just happened to be there. Beautiful shot there by Alexander, that's what I was just saying. Uh, just two people there at the same time, and that's all you need sometimes, is one shot taken, then a little bit outside, and then the perfect position, Alexander there, like to put it inside. The goalie had no chance of stopping that one. Beautiful grounder that's twinkling by, and that's a base hit. Swing and a miss, and that's five strikeouts now for Suarez. The ball dripping into the left field line. That's going, and it's going to score, and it might be an inside the park. It will be an inside the park home run for Alexis Suarez, and it's two to nothing Astros. What a play by Alexis Suarez. Making it down the left field line, all the way towards the wall. Wow, looks fires, going down the sideline, caught, touchdown, Golden Bears! Kareem Hines with the score. Beautiful pass from Brown to Kareem Hines. That 
that's not just because of a sack, even though that was on that end. That's penalties, folks. Loud whoops, fires, complete touchdown! Golden Bears, Kareem Hines, his second connection from Royce Loud. 